everyone, I'm that other Dave, Dave Morgan, from Craig and Dave, and welcome to the Craig and Dave channel, where we take a deep dive into the fascinating world of tech and how it's shaping our world. Today, we're tackling a topic that sits right in the uncanny valley, the artificial intelligence that's getting eerily good at creating human faces. You know the type that might just fool you into thinking you're looking at a real person. So, let's jump right in. Picture this, you're scrolling through your social media feed and you come across a bunch of profile pictures. Some are your friends and some are, well, you can't really tell. Turns out, AI has been busy in the background churning out faces that look as real as your buddy Dave's new profile pic from his weekend barbecue. Scary, right? Well, researchers over at Aberdeen University have just confirmed what we've suspected all along. Most of us can't tell the difference between a face created by a human, uh, I mean through the traditional method of, you know, being born and all that jazz, and one crafted by AI. These clever folks, along with their pals in Australia and Canada, ran a study with 124 participants who showed they're about as good at spotting AI faces as I am at resisting a second slice of pizza. I mean, spoilers, that's not very. With a 65% misidentification rate for AI faces, people were basically flipping a coin to determine if they were looking at a human or a computer's art project. And the real faces? Well, they only guessed those right about half the time. It gets even wilder. We're at our peak face recognizing powers at the ripe old age of 31, according to some US research. That's way later than when we're crushing it on the sports field or mastering the latest TikTok dance. TikTok's gonna love me. So, if you think that your face detecting skills are top notch, you might want to think again, because guess what? The people who were most sure of their wrong guesses were also the most confident. Classic confidence paradox. The more wrong you are, the more convinced you are that you're right. Kind of like when you argue with your parents about how to use their new smartphone. Now, let's talk tech. How does AI even create these faces? We're looking at machine learning and neural networks, stuff we've talked about before, and basically a bunch of algorithms that learn from a ton of data. But here's the kicker. There's a bias in the training data towards white faces, which means racial disparities are creeping into AI-generated imagery. Companies that use this tech for professional headshots are inadvertently whitewashing people of color, changing their skin and eye colors accidentally. That's not cool, AI. Not cool. You might be wondering why we're so bad at this AI face detecting malarkey. Well, it boils down to psychology. These faces have hyperrealism, with perfectly proportioned features and a sparkle in their eyes that makes them seem alive. And if you're a super recognizer, you might have a unique ability to spot these fakes, but you're like a unicorn, rare and special. Now, let's talk about the dark side, the potential problems identity theft, fraud, and the police using live facial recognition without clear legal foundations. And the tech isn't just bias, it's reinforcing racial biases on children and pretty much anyone who needs to be AI savvy. But hey, it's not all doom and gloom. Think about the benefits. AI faces in gaming, virtual reality helping law enforcement, and even personalized AI assistance in the entertainment industry. Advancements are happening, and they're not all scary. So what about us, the public? We need to get clued up and fast. Aberdeen University is already taking steps to educate schools about online fraud and impersonation risks. We need transparency around AI and tools to spot these AI-generated images. As we wrap this up, let's think about the future. AI is becoming a big part of our lives, whether we like it or not. It's crucial to stay informed and keep a healthy dose of skepticism as technology marches on. And as we ponder our role in an AI-dominated future, ask yourself, in a world where machines can create faces that seem more human than our own, what does it truly mean to be human? Now, to summarize, Aberdeen University research revealed that most people cannot distinguish between real human faces and those created by AI, with a 65% misidentification rate for AI-generated faces. AI-generated faces are biased towards white features due to the data used for machine learning, causing racial disparities and potential issues such as identity theft and fraud. Psychological factors like hyperrealism and perfectly proportioned features make it difficult for humans to detect AI faces, with a few individuals known as super recognizers being exceptions. The necessity for public education and awareness is highlighted to prepare society for AI advancements, alongside a call for transparency and tools to identify AI generated images. Thanks for tuning into the Craig and Dave channel this week, and don't forget to hit that like button if you don't want AI to take over the world just yet. Stay curious, stay skeptical, and keep learning. 
catch you in the next one.